Many people think that in order to do astronomy, you need to have a lot of expensive equipment, namely a great big telescope. But that's just not at all true. In fact, for many thousands of years, people did astronomy using nothing but sticks and stones. This is the Scope of Science, and I'm Curtis Bowdy. And today I, I want to talk about one of those simple experiments. Because, yeah, with sticks and stones, people can measure all sorts of things. They can measure the length of a year. They can measure and predict the movement of the stars throughout the night sky. Uh, they can, throughout the year and for years to come, they can measure and predict with really great accuracy when the next eclipses will happen. And they can do this with sticks, and so can you. So today I decided to do my own little astronomy experiment using nothing but a big stick and a couple smaller sticks. It's probably one of the first, if not the first, astronomy experiment that was ever done, but we'll never really know for sure. Uh, and it tells the time of day. It is the first clock, and it's a sundial. So I've got one here. If you want to take a look. So this is a very simple sundial. It's just one great big stick that casts a shadow. And every hour I've come by and I've placed a smaller stick at the tip of wherever the shadow was at that point to show the hour from 11 a.m., 12, uh, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and 5 p.m. I'm also in the northern equator. I'm north of the equator. The reason that matters is because the Earth, it spins once a, once a day, it spins around, but its axis, the axis it spins on, is tilted in regard to the uh, orbit of the Earth around the Sun. What that means is, and you've probably experienced this if you're not on the equator, is that the days in summer are longer and the days in winter are shorter. And that also means that the Sun goes through the sky differently and casts different shadows at different points of the year. So I've made a very, very simple uh, sundial, but if you make a more complicated sundial, you can actually make use of the fact that the sun goes differently throughout the year. And you can use a sundial not just to tell you the time of day, but the day of the year. That's pretty cool. So on this summer sundial, when the sun is at its highest point, the shadows are pretty small, but if this was a winter sundial, the shadows would get a lot longer. And that's kind of neat. So sundials are pretty amazing in that you can do all those things. And if you think, if you're still thinking, yeah, but I'm better than sundials, this is 2017, there's actually a rover on Mars that has a sundial on it. The, there's a camera pointing at this disc that does color correction, allows them to do color correction, and... <laughs> They put a sundial on it, which is freaking cool. And I mean, if NASA isn't above sundials, then I, you better not be either. So this is just one example of some astronomy that you can do with nothing more than a stick. There's lots of other examples like measuring the size of the Earth with a stick and its shadows. Uh, but for now, I want you to just take that point home, that astronomy is not out of your reach as long as you have the time, the imagination and the interest to pursue it. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please consider liking this video. And if you want to learn more about basic science, then please consider subscribing to this channel. I'm making videos all the time. And thanks so much for watching.